Hey guys and welcome back to my world. So first off, as you can hear, um, I am on my travel mic, so the sound is quite bad. I'll probably remake this video uh, when I get home. I am still on holiday. Secondly, if you actually see this video, <laughs> if this video is actually online, it means that I found a internet hotspot where I can actually upload uh, this video. So um, I've been following a bit about what's going on with the new snapshots um, while I've been away and I decided to actually make this video, squeeze in some time and see if I can make this video. Okay, so um, what you can see over here is uh, these are mob health bars uh, based on the actual uh, health of the mob itself. There is no um, trickery to this except for uh, using the new entity, entity data command okay um, and this is absolutely very cool it's it's linked up as I said to the mobs health itself so as the mobs health goes down uh, it will then display it, the health above its head okay so as you can see as I'm hitting them I mean if I do hit them with something bigger you'll see that it'll take away uh, more more health until they die and uh, I'll just see if I can push one of these into into the water okay so if I push it into the water you'll see it takes damage um, and it, yeah, <laughs> it will eventually die and it'll show you the, uh, the health. Now, isn't this absolutely cool? Um, now, this will work for any, any mob that is spawned in the world. Um, it doesn't, it's nothing special about this mob. So if I go uh, summon, let's just see, what shall we do? So we do cow, chicken, so just chicken, where's the chicken? So there we go. As you can see, chicken actually has, each one of these hearts uh, is actually uh, two uh, two health bars or two health. Okay, so chicken has um, four. Well, four health. Okay, so one hit and, and it dies. Uh, if I summon a cow, okay, uh, you'll see cow actually has ten health. So it's normal mobs have twenty health. Uh, well, this one I've hit before. That's why. So uh, when mobs, the aggressive mobs spawn, they have twenty health. But things like cows and, and chickens and, and and the sort have. A different amount of health come back come back cow okay there we go um, okay so what else can we what, what else can we summon to show you let's just do spider I wonder how much a thing a spider will have oh there we go spider doesn't have quite the same either that's interesting okay um, so as you can see anything I summon in will automatically get get the uh, health bar added to it Okay, so let's quickly go and have a look how this works. Now, this I'm not going to show you on this map because this is the little adventure, adventure slash um, super hostile map that I'm working on. So, yeah, let's go and have a look. Um, okay, so if we go to here. Okay, so this concept is actually quite simple and it only requires two command blocks to run. However, you do need the, the set of two command blocks for each level of health. Okay, so if I summon a um, if I summon a zombie, a command. Okay, uh, you'll see that I I do have uh, ten hearts there, but a zombie actually has twenty health. So it's two health points per heart. It's just to kind of lessen the command blocks uh, as well as actually uh, just lessening the display itself. Okay, so as you've as you've guessed, that is actually the the zombie's name. So that's the actual the name bar that you see at the top. Okay, so it's called Full Hearts, basically. Okay, so the two commands. First off, um, I'm look going to be doing a partial NBT test to see if this zombie or any entity actually has uh, how much health they have. Now, unfortunately, player selectors does not allow us to inject partial NBT into them. So we need to, a roundabout way to figure out which entity has which health. So for that, we're going to be using the scoreboard. Okay, so we're gonna go, now, first off, I've created a scoreboard objective called health bar, which is a dummy objective. So you do need to create this first. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, setting all players that's an entity uh, i'm going to be setting their health bar to 20 if their partial nbt uh, health equals to 20. okay so i'm going to be testing to see if they've got 20 if they have 20 i'm then going to put the side bar or i'm going to put the health bar scoreboard objective to 20. okay if they have 
Um, 19 health, I'm going to be setting the health bar to 18. If they've got 18 health, I'm going to be setting the health bar to 18. If they've got 17 health, I'm going to be setting the health bar to 16. If they've got 16 health, I'm going to be setting the health bar to 16. As I said, so I've got two levels for one health. For one health. And then this all continues all the way down to when we have health equals zero, we're going to set the health bar to zero, which means they're just dead. Okay, so health one is health one, um, health two, two, uh, and three is two. Okay, so basically the, the command blocks at the top and the command blocks at the bottom will detect all 20 levels of um, health that a mob has. So if I summon in a zombie, oh, I read that. Oh, hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello, bye bye. Bye bye, bye bye. Okay, so, um, right, if I now just quickly go put it on the sidebar, um, let's just go sidebar. Oops, no, that's not the one. Let's just do health. Oh, what am I doing? I'm resetting everybody. Uh, that's okay, they'll reset themselves. Okay, so let me just quickly do side. Okay, there we go. So you'll see there is three entities. So it's the two zombies that I spawned, the one that I've just hit, the baby, and myself. So if I hit this one over here, you'll see on the right hand side the health goes down as well as uh, the name of the top. Okay, so that's the first command, is detecting, uh, okay, so it's now picked up all of the the items as well. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Right, so that's the first one, we're detecting the health, we're then giving every single entity a score based on that health, okay, and then we do the entity data. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna go run the new entity data command, which was added in the latest snapshot. So entity data at entity, score underscore health bar minimum 20, score health bar equals 20. So when they've exactly got 20 health, we are going to be changing the custom name to 10 uh, full hearts. So it's, it's fully col colored hearts. Right now, this is actually, um, some text that I found on the, the internet. So if you go look at a charm map, a character map, you'll see it is these two over here. Okay, there's a few other symbols over here, but you do need to play with it. Not all of them actually work in Minecraft. Some of them do, some of them don't. I'm gonna put this link in the description. Um, but these two hearts, fortunately, did actually work. Okay, so when they have a health bar of 20, I rename their names. I give them a new name that is the 10, 10 um, hearts. Okay, so if we have a look at as 18, so anybody, any entity that has a scoreboard score of 18 um, will then get a nine, nine full hearts and one empty heart. Okay, uh, 16 the same, we then have eight hearts and uh, two empty ones, and so we carry on yeah. until we get to the end where we have all the hearts are empty. Yeah. Okay, so the last one over here should actually be all dead but yeah that hardly ever shows so if i kind of hit the zombie over and over oh there we go you'll see it suffocating and you'll see it goes down okay cool so as you can see this is actually a very straightforward and basic uh contraption and what's wonderful about it is, is that it works on any new entity that you spawn in if you spawn anything anything in as i showed you before uh so let's just do summon um what shall we summon in so just see um we do creeper just do a creeper okay so if i summon in a creeper you'll see it's got the 20. so anything i summon in will immediately get um these hearts attached okay so you can actually just leave this running and that's it you no need to fiddle at all or do special summonings or anything anything at all like that cool guys once again i do apologize for the bad sound of uh, quality that I've got here. Um, I, I will be home in, in a week or so and then we should return to normal. Um, yeah, cool, guys. Thank you very much for watching and as always, I will check you all later.